I am Bizot and welcome to Filter. A hand-picked top 10 video game countdown is voted on by you, the viewer, at G4TV.com. Between all of the pressures and distractions which build up over the daily rigmarole that we call life, people have to find a good way to take the edge off. For some folks, that comes by way of meditation, others use exercise. But when gamers are looking to let go, very little says unwind like a good fighting game. After all, what's better than getting to pimp slap your best friend after a hard day at the office? So for all you people who like it quick, fast, and furious, today we're going to count down your favorite fighting games of all time. But before we do that, let's address some surface issues. What elements make up a great fighting game, and what are the strategies that make you great at fighting games? Listen up and find out. Fighting games are easy to play, they're fun to play, but also reward people who put a lot of time into learning this, the moves and learning the techniques. The gameplay has to be really perfect in a, in a fighting game. I think it's very, very important that it's, the response time is very fast. It has to be super fast. It's got to make you laugh. It's got to be competitive. Someone can't dominate easily. If someone new comes in and picks it up right away, they should have a shot at winning. Good graphics, good characters, funny characters. I'm a button masher, so what makes a great fighting game for me is like mashing all the buttons and seeing something really cool happen that I wouldn't have figured out myself. My number one strategy that I love to do is uh, kind of circle around my player, keep distance so that they're not able to strike you easily. Uh, it makes it fun and I think it's really successful when you're able to do it and strike at the same time. So I jump this way, kick him, you know, kick him in the back, then jump around. Just block and hit, man. block and hit, just block and then hit a super move. Pretty much Friday nights, the NFLs get together, sit there and go at it. down with a whacked out game that has character because of the characters. Guilty Gear X2 gets the countdown started at 10. has a really cool 2D style with some really crazy characters like heavy metal guys playing guitars and things like that. It has a kind of like cool old school anime look. It looks a lot like Street Fighter 2, but obviously this game came out much later than Street Fighter 2, so it's definitely kind of a throwback to the 2D fighting style. And it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous design sense. interesting characters. I remember one guy fought with like a pool cue and threw like pool balls at people and uh, another guy had like a paper bag on his head. It was really interesting to play. Guilty Gear has the distinction of being the only standalone fighting game to make the countdown. From this point on, every other spot will honor a series. And that begins right here with the Virtua Fighter series in ninth place. Virtua Fighter was the very first 3D fighting game to make it into the arcades and gained popularity with hardcore fans thanks to its incredibly deep gameplay. Since then, they've really enhanced the quality of the game up to now, Virtual Fighter 4. I remember when I first got VF2 on the Sega Saturn, it was really just a groundbreaking, incredible game. The graphics were great and the gameplay was great, and it really delivered an experience like nothing else up to that point. Fighter was one of the first 3D games that I really enjoyed. Played it all the way through. Kept playing it for a long time. That was my game. I love that game. Virtual Fighter to me was the Street Fighter for everybody else. Let's keep it in the arcades for another old school classic, the Street Fighter series. 
Street Fighter 2 kicked off a fighting game revolution in the arcades and gave birth to a set of special moves that even non-fighting game fans have all heard of. Haruken, the Street Fighter series is number eight. Fighter is the reason why I love video games. I can remember where I was when I executed the Sonic Boom for the first time. You can never neglect the influence of Street Fighter on the entire genre. I think that's like the god of all fighting games, like the basis. If you ever play a fighting game or any game, period, you'll probably start with Street Fighter. It's just like the beginning, elementary school for fighting games. thing about the Street Fighter series is they were stuck with that look all along. It's nice to see that the games haven't had to like change. They could keep their look and remain the good games that they are. Ah, that game brings back sweet memories of junior high. Of course, it also brings back some not so sweet memories of getting my butt kicked. When we come back from the break, we'll ask you to reminisce on your childhood as well and tell us whether you were a bully or a punk. We'll also keep counting down the best fighting games ever. Do you like your combat, Mortal or Marvel? Find out when Filter returns.